Now I am going to solve exam-based question to elaborate what is a unit vector. So from the question, which one of the following is not a unit vector? Can we cut a unit vector yalhono So we have four alternative choices. So how to identify the answer? To identify the answer, first of all, you have to know what is unit vector. And then what are the mathematical expressions to identify whether the vector is unit vector or not? So from the definition, when we say unit vector, it is a vector that have one unit magnitude. So let's see in detail. Let's say this is vector A, which is the same as AX in the I plus AY in the J plus a z in the k then magnitude of vector a is equals to under square root of a x the whole square plus a y the whole square plus a z the whole square which is the same as one so let's see and vector unit vector no number magnitude when lengthu and so basim is a yand and vector Magnitude in yes around unit vector mon alamun and the layalan abrachun koyu. So let's say this is vector A, vector B, vector C, and vector D, then magnitude of vector A is equal to under square root of the component of vector A along x, which is 10 over 13, 10 over 13 the whole square plus. Uh, minus 2, minus 2, root 11 over 13, the whole square, plus the component of vector A along Z, which is 5 over 13, 5 over 13, the whole square. So, which is the same as under square root of 10 square, which is 100, over 13 square, which is 160, 9 plus minus 2 root 11 the whole square, which is 4 multiplied by 11, 44 over 13 square, which is 169 plus 5 square, which is 25 over 13 square, which is 169, which is the same as, so 169 is common for all, 100 plus 44 plus 25 over 169, which is the same as under square root of 100 plus 44 plus 25, which is 169. 169 over 169, which is the same as 169 divided by 169, which is 1. Square root of 1 is the same as 1, which means that the first vector or alternative choice A is a unit vector. That's why magnitude of this vector is the same as 1. So this is a unit vector. So let's Next, we have to check the second vector, whether it is unit vector or not. So by using the same procedure, magnitude of vector B is equal to under square root of bx the whole square plus by the whole square plus bz the whole square, where bx is the same as 5 over root 65 the whole square plus 2 over 2 over root 65 the whole square plus minus 6 over root 65 the whole square, which is the same as under square root of what? 5 square, which is 25 over what? 16 square is 65 plus 2 square, which is 4 over square of root 65, which is 65 plus minus 6 whole square, which is 36 over what? 65. So 65 is common here. So under square root, 25 plus 4 plus 36 over 65, which is the same as 
under square root 25 plus 4 which is 29 plus 36 which is 65 over what 65 65 over 65 which is under square root of what 1 which is the same as 1 so magnitude of vector b also 1 so vector b also a unit vector so this is a unit vector so let's proceed to the third vector which is c to identify whether it is unit vector or not let's see so by using the same procedure magnitude of c is equals to under square root of cx dot square plus cy dot square plus cz dot square where cx is 3 over 13 dot square 3 over 13 the whole square plus uh, 4 over 13 4 over 13 the whole square plus minus 12 over 13 minus 12 over 13 the whole square which is the same as under square root of what? 3 square which is 9 over 169 plus 4 square which is 16 over 169 plus minus 12 double square which is 144 over 169 which is the same as under square root of 9 plus 9 plus 16 plus 144 over what? 169 which is common for all. So this is the same as 9 plus 16, which is 25, 25 plus 144, which is 169, 169 over 169, which is the same as under square root of 169 divided by 169, which is 1, so magnitude of 1 also, sorry, square root of 1 is the same as 1, so the third vector also a unit vector so this is a unit vector so by default the answer is d so let me check whether it is a unit vector or not okay so magnitude of d is equal to under the square root of dx double square which is minus 3 over root 156 the whole square plus b, dx double square minus 5 over minus 5 over root 156 the whole square plus dz which is 11 over 156 the whole square under square root. So this is the same as minus 3 whole square which is 9 over what? Square root 156 right? Plus sorry there is square root Minus 5 squared, which is 25 over 156 plus 11 squared, 121 over what? 156. So 156 is common here. So let's give the number 9 plus 25 plus 121 over 156, which is the same as under square root of this is the same as. 9 plus 25 plus 121 is the same as 155 over 156, which is different from 1. Different from 1. So this is not a unit vector. So the answer is D. This is all the time what we have for today. Thank you very much.